recording. All right, good job, good job. So, have you all read the primer? I did. Mm -hmm. All right, you uh, did your two people did their homework. Did the third person do their homework? Uh, in the spirit of my character who can't read, I can't read. Oh, okay. I've read some. I've read some of it. I well, know. nonetheless, uh, when we last in our last session, you accept. Uh, you uh, began your investigation of uh, the Mandela Flint Beach boot camp, where there have been a spat of suicides amongst the students. Uh, the instructor Asher Bai pushed hard to get a third-party investigation and wound up with you and Corin. You took him along with you. Unfortunate for him. Uh, uh, yeah, Corin seems to be having an okay time so far. I meant unfortunate for Asher Bai for <laughs> hiring us. Oh yeah, that's true. Uh, you've, uh, you were given, uh... Rain to walk around, uh, you know, uh, you, you know, you could and freely enter the library, uh, walk through the courtyard, freely enter the barracks, and uh, the mess hall. Although you do, you needed a higher clearance if you wanted to go into the uh, administration building or the storage room, and you spoke to some people. The people, the notable people of interest you met were Veritas, uh, the head instructor, the course, the curriculum creator, uh, the guy who designed uh, the uh, schedule and uh, method by which these students are taught in this boot camp. Uh, you met Jethro, uh, a notable student at the camp who is notable for getting into arguments with quite a bit with quite a few people, including many of the people who had died. And nobody likes him. Uh someone liked him. But, um, yeah, someone liked him. He's dead she's dead now. Uh, oh. Can't believe it. His only chance. And uh you uh, so you did those rounds of investigations, uh, you know, talked to people, interviewed them, um Got some theories, early theories going. Uh, then you uh, spent the night uh, doing some patrols under which uh, another student died by the name of Glenn. Uh, when you followed uh, the body to the infirmary, uh, you witnessed the you witnessed. Uh, on despite the protests, the protestations of faculty, you uh, were witness to the sacred Mandela sealing ritual that is uh, performed upon dead bodies, uh, and uh, talked to the head doctor, who afterwards, who uh, himself is somewhat of an outsider to Mandela. He was not. Uh, he, he was a traveling doctor with a magical inclination for many decades and only a few years ago settled into uh, a steady job with uh, as being a doctor for the Mandela School. Uh, and he voiced frustration that uh, he that he has not been able to properly investigate the bodies due to uh, the fact that they seal, they perform their sealing ritual uh, so quickly. And he cannot uh, work out his theory that uh, he believes that the cause of death may in fact be uh, magic being drained from the body as opposed to asphyxiation from a noose. Uh, but he hasn't been able to confirm that. And he also told you to keep that to yourself because if word got out that he spoke to you about the sealing ritual and what it does and why that interfered with him, then uh, his life may be on the line. And so Azora and Aegis uh, then regrouped uh, and decided to go meet Axe in the mess hall. Uh, and that's where we left off. On the way, Aegis and Azora, you heard some commotion coming from the mess hall. Oh, and yeah. Axe didn't commotion. do anything. We don't so, know that he didn't do anything yet. When you enter the mess hall, uh, you see uh, a student and Jethro uh, 
brawling on the floor. I'm good. It's not okay. the mess hall. You know. Yeah, you're I... in the mess hall. You were in the mess hall. Oh, Based Alexis, on what we've definitely. heard, this is common, and maybe we should let it play out. Or, I don't know, we could get involved. Azora, Azora wants to get involved. She indicates this by, like, walking swiftly towards the situation. Aegis, like, <laughs> Aegis shrugs and, like, goes to sit down and watch how this plays out. <laughs> like, he's just sitting nearby, crosses, like, sits on a bench, crosses his legs. So, uh, the student tussling with Jethro uh, is currently uh, on top of him. Um, raises a fist and yells, "You!" F and yells, Le "And yells, just fucking go, you son of a bitch!" And uh, charges up. And uh, there's like a glint of magic running through his, uh, running through his arm. Uh, I as want he's to... About to punch down. Okay, as he's about to punch down, I want to just like sort of run up and basically like kick him to the side, like off of Jethro, and just basically step on his chest, you know, pin him down. Like, keep the two, you know. If that makes oh. sense. Am I describing yeah. that eloquently? Alright, roll, roll strength. Alright, yep. Yeah. Yeah, you uh inter you interrupt this uh the student's uh attempt at a punch and uh r kick him rolling off. He rolls off Jethro and you have your foot on him. But the what's what going on here? Uh Jethro rises. If Jethro tries to if he tries to get up, I stop him. Uh oh, he he's he just looks at you and just says I'm trying I'd like to get back to my seat, please. And continue eating. In a minute, what's going on here? Uh, the ki the student under you says, "Get your fucking foot off and let me at him." You know what? Aegis is gonna do something. Okay. All right. He's like sat like across. He's sat away from him. He just like takes out a javelin and like throws it so it will embed in the floor next to him. All right. And just he just does that and then just says, "Just pay attention to her." Axe Axe would say you should listen to her. Yeah, Zora just says I might let you make your case first. It's like It's like he's he's fucking off he's killing them. I know he is. I know he's he's, he's driving them to he's driving them to do this. He's doing it. What makes you say that? Can't stop running his fucking mouth. He always talks shit. He can't f always talk shit. He always. Did I get a ledger? From what on, I did, I get a ledger on the on the students who were taking out rope. Uh, the students who were taking out rope. Uh, he didn't. You didn't have that. I didn't. Uh, have remember that. The, uh, the, the remember he said it wasn't on the ledger. Oh yeah. Okay. And the rope was cut wrong. Hmm. I was gonna say I thought it wasn't even the same type of rope though. I thought that was part of. Was that something? That it no, wasn't... no. Oh, never mind. That was their source of oh. rope. Yeah, yeah, Aegis actually kind of walks over to, um... Is, um... What's his face? Is Jeffro still on the ground? Uh, he was wanting to get up. Like, he was in the middle of getting up when Azura oh, okay. uh, Aegis, put her hand Aegis forward. Aegis walks over him and basically oh, gives uh, him, like, a pat down to check for rope. Doesn't ask for his permission. Just right. Just walks over and does uh, that. He looks, he looks annoyed. Uh, Does he have any but rope? So... The roll... Uh... Uh, roll, roll... Uh, actually, no, no roll. No, he doesn't have any rope uh, on him. Yeah, Aegis just does that and then looks at the guy on the ground and says, Yeah, I, d I think you're jumping to conclusions. He's talking them into it, I know he is. Azara says, wait, he's, he's been talking shit for a long time, as I understand. Why do you think something's different now? He he looks up and just says, "He lost his one f ever since he fucking got in an argument with the last fucking person in this camp who could stand him." And I was like, "Why? Like only a few days before this all started fucking happening?" Oh, Jethro, I know, I know you. You're you can't about... fucking stand wait, to lose. Wait, wait, you're talking about Xavier. Sophie. Sophia. 
Oh, Xavier was the one it said often ate dinner with Jeff Roy. He did. Yeah, he but Sophia's. But... Okay. Yeah, Sophia's yeah, one. I mean, that, hey, yeah. either way, point kind of stands. Is that? Yeah. They start. Hey, hang on. That start. The rash of de... the rash of death started before then. Just calm down. You got the wrong guy, probably. And even if, and even if you do, that's not your concern. <laughs> He's, he just said, uh, yeah, one well, way to prove it. How about you fucking leave, Jethro, huh? How about you just go back to a little dinky village in dinky village down south? It's only just like, what, 30 minutes away? Just fucking leave. See if it stops. And if it doesn't? Jethro just spits uh, down onto the floor and looks at Azora and just says, can I go back to my fucking meal? In a minute. Um, Azora's gonna pull this guy to his feet. Ask, oh, what's your name? Uh, he, uh, looks at you and Hello? 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 You, bl- yeah. you, you went Hello? totally silent. Oh. Okay, he says, what's... He looks at you and just says, what's it to you? Well, I'm conducting an investigation for one thing. Yeah, we Also, I just pinned you to the ground with my boot, so, you know. Like to apologize formally. Kinky. He looks around, you know, sort of panting, and just says, Sablo. Sablo. Well, sorry about the altercation. Um, Azora turns to Aegis and sort of, like, nods at Sablo. You want to talk to him more? Aegis just sighs and looks at him. Don't know. Don't know if, there's a, if don't know what he's got other than, a, you know, an attitude problem, which makes him no different from Jethro. <clears throat> Jethro just says, oh, there's a world of difference between us. And uh, Sablo tenses up at that. Uh, uh, Zora sort of, you know, like, shrugs and starts walking away from Sablo towards Jethro and, like, passing Aegis. Look, it might be worth getting any information you can about, you know, and sort of, like, gestures with her eye towards Jethro. Yeah. Or the faculty. I've got a, I've got a few questions to ask. Got an idea yeah. of how we might be able to. Well, problem is it take. We'll talk about it outside, away from the students. But I've got an idea. All right. In any case, I'm gonna talk to our boy here some. And then you know she turns to Jethro and sort of whistles, indicates with her finger to follow her. Come have lunch with me outside. Uh, he looks at you and just says, if you say so, and, uh, he walks over to grab, you know, his plate that he was eating at. Sablo's just kind of seething in the background, and then, uh, before, you know, he leaves with you, he, Jethro just looks at Sablo and says, by the way, that dinky little village in Flint Beach, where it's a hell of a lot more than Marion. And, uh, Sablo runs at him. I want to trip him. Put my foot out. All right, roll Dex. How how wooed? A- Aegis isn't gonna pick a straight fight with these guys. Where the? <laughs> I want to keep this open. These guys like could probably all kick Aegis's ass. They're all fucking. I will monsters. also like to de- like dependent on you know depending on how this goes oh. stand in defense of Pablo. Okay. Not of, pa- not Pablo. of Sol- of not of Jethro. Pablo Escobar. You'll stand in defense <laughs> of him. Yeah. All right. Well, you miss. All right. Well, uh, Aegis misses. Well, you're rolling as to sneaker. I see. Get mm-hmm. into it. Come on. Hey, you... I fucked up my first roll too. Yeah. You know. You, you know, know what? Don't like. Do. Don't respect that, Neo. Don't respect that. Neo. Neo. I think can Axe do something? Hey, Neo. Oh. Can, can Axe do something just before? He, he well, well like Zora has first. her defense roll, so. Okay. Um. What does Zora do with this defend? All this defend. So the the obviously redirect an attack from the thing you defend to yourself. Um, uh-huh. 
will have the attack's effect or damage, and you know deal damage to the attacker. We're Ooh. we're going strictly non-lethal. Like this is concussive. Just basically gonna like have him slam into the shield. Like very, you know, stun damage. This right. definitely not going all out. Definitely not. You know, he Looney Tune pancakes against the shield. Basically, yeah. But don't. That's how. If that makes sense. Right. Uh, do I have? So that is. Oh wow, that's still eight damage. Uh no no you deal damage oh. equal to your level. Oh true seven damage. Equal Duh. to your level yeah. Seven damage. Still a sorry. Oh. I got it mixed that's up. Cool. I have two very similar moves. The defends really similar to Wall of Steel. Okay, so uh, he runs forward. Uh, he goes for a punch. You intercept with your shield and uh, sort of uh, flames kind of just like spark out from like, you know, every which way from your shield. Uh, but mm -hmm. they fade out very quickly. How much damage? Uh, two damage. Okay, nice. Nothing. Ba-dunk. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And yeah, he's knocked back to the ground. <laughs> Uh, clutching his arm. Yeah, uh, Zora just turns to Jethro. For your own safety, I su do suggest you shut up. Mm. He just, yeah, he just lets, uh, yeah, he just, you know, puts a little bit of, egg, you know, gets, you know, starts che chewing on a little bit of his egg, and uh, you know, walks off with you. With we're just kind of muttering, "Not my safety you should worry about." He was the hey. He was losing. He was the one on the bottom of the ground pound. But this is Jeff. <laughs> That's Rose. true. Anyway, um, Aegis walks over to Sablo while he's on the ground, and you know, don't think I have much control over the guy, but I've got an idea. But Aegis is going to try and make a new friend, I suppose. Uh huh. Might be handy. Aegis just like walks over, does like the squat thing, like just squatting um behind him and just over him, just says. So, you're pretty fired up about the killer, right? Who might it be? Killer? Yeah. Killer. Fucking killer. Well, I'm gonna say this is the guy who knows more than you do. Probably wasn't him. He's He talks a big game, but he ain't going around killing people. He's just a young idiot. Kind of like you. Yeah, by the way, I am still trying to make friends with him. That's right, my yeah. Man, but... Sablo, yeah, looks and he's like, "What are you talking about?" We were brought here by one of the instructors to find out who's really doing it. Uh, doesn't really point to him. Oh uh, yeah, well, <laughs> what makes you think? What makes you think it's not him, huh? All right, Aegis like leans down and just whispers into his ear because it looks like it's Veritas. Oh wow. He looks really at you. Again. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, he like looks at you kind of shocked. What? Did you just say? Where it all points right now. But you didn't hear We're that just from throwing me. subtlety out the window. Yeah. We're going ham. What what subtlety ask access? I want I need people to start breaking out of his routine, and there's no greater way to do that than to just stir chaos. Though I think I'm throwing the bonus will gain out of the window, so... Why are you talking about Ver Structor Veritas? Because I'm just doing my job. You don't get... And you shouldn't get in the way of it unless you got something actually useful. How about instead, but, but, of, throw, how about instead of throwing your weight around like crazy, you actually start looking for what's going on here? Wait, wait, wait where's... What do you mean? That, how? My concern, not yours. I think it's my concern. Aegis like has got gets up and is like walking out of the building now. See what his connection. Uh, to, I don't know. See what his feelings on Veritas are. See if he has a. You know. Uh, oh, I'm. He's probably gonna follow me. I yeah, he's following you. He's like, you, you, you can't just say that and leave. Hold on. Yeah, I'm like walking. I walk out of the mess hall, and I I imagine there's like an alleyway or a beside between the buildings. It's a bit more empty. Alright. And Aegis is basically going to lead him somewhere where they're alone. Okay. Yeah, just so there's no prying, 
prying eyes, prying ears. Ooh. Aside from Axe, who I don't know where Axe is right now. Axe oh, was just I... eating. Oh, okay. yeah, Axe was eating, but you, <laughs> you know You were what just eating, you saw that fight break out and didn't... Didn't get in the way. <laughs> just... No, nature no, runs you see... Its course. You know, Axe is like, you know, he has seen this before. Young boys, fight, gotta fight it out. He that was just care. rambunctiousness. Yeah, Axe has seen real fights. That wasn't it. I think I've got an answer. <laughs> well, it's no sense in me rolling thing, but yeah, I take him. I'm gonna try and discern realities on the kid. <clears throat> Alright. Because I gotta move. Do I get that move? Do I get that question? Freely, or do I have to? Oh, okay, it's on a plus 12, I can ask that for free. And mm, it's not the most useful question, given the circumstances. Um. Hmm. What here is useful or valuable to me? No, no, sorry, uh, actually, let me strip that. Who's really in control here? Who's really in control here? Regarding On the... Sablo. Regarding Sablo. It's me, Austin. <laughs> it was me. All the answer along, is Austin. Sablo's heart. <laughs> and out of the shadow steps, Vince McMahon. It was me! Uh... Is really in control of Sablo. I mean, I guess that would just be the Mandela school. Because, well, you noticed, well, before, uh, after his last, you know, the thing that riled him up to try and punch again, uh, you heard uh, yeah, he Jethro mentioned. Was it yeah, he mentioned Marion. Yeah. And Marion is not a League City. Which means, if it's anything like what happened with Sophia and Seneca, as was described, then uh, he's probably not exactly welcome back to Marion at this time, should he leave. So right now, he can't go. Pretty home. much, pretty much all this guy has is Mandela. Okay, so all he has is the school. I see. All right, so. Time for Aegis to start putting pressure on that fact. Time to, for Aegis to emotionally manipulate a child. Yeah, he's like, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, Aegis like basically um, leaves the building, walks into a back alley, and then just kind of waits for him <laughs> to follow and says, you can't, and does turn and say to him, you're not going back to Marion after this, aren't you? He... You know, sort of like looks dejectedly to the side and just says, What's it to you? This, this school's all you got. I know how it feels to, well, have a family that's. that can break apart at any time. I know what it is for it to feel threatened. And? And I can get it. I can get Jeff Rowe. He's sticks his well sticks his neck out. Maybe the wrong word. He he's different. He's angry. He's got a different opinion. But everyone, every student here is from a wildly different place and time. Doesn't make him the killer. Makes him a piece of shit. But it doesn't make him the killer. I don't. I don't think he's. I thought, I didn't think he was really, you know, killing them. I, f I figured he was, you know, telling them to, to do what they're doing and, and convincing them somehow. It's, the way it's going right now, say, Sablo, how good are you with magic? You had, you seem pretty in control of, well, not yourself, but... You were channeling that all into your fist back there. Right? I'm a barehanded. I'm trying to learn. I'm trying to be a barehanded specialist. That's interesting. <clears throat> is that much harder than using a sword? Yeah, it's. It is. It it takes more raw energy, and well, you have to channel it in a way different 
fashion. So it's, you know, it's kind of different. Jethro thinks it's a gimmick. No, don't take that as an insult. Gimmicks are good. A gimmick can, f a gimmick can throw people off. I'd be more worried about well, a guy who's been practiced his gimmick a thousand times than a guy who's done everything once. Still Bruce Lee. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> In this universe, Aegis said the thing. Yeah, there you go. Is kicking a gimmick? Hey, well, the actual quote was, I fear a man who's practiced one punch a thousand times more than a guy who's I practiced it was every a kick. punch. Was it a kick? I don't know. Yeah, it was a kick. Oh. Oh, it was a kick. I, I fear not the man who practiced 10,000 kicks. I fear the man who practiced one kick 10,000 times. Got ya. Okay. Eh, eh, eh. He's got a very strong leg. But one got horrendous leg. What was that noise leg. supposed to be, by the way, Swede? I think that was kicking. Someone practiced, someone Please practiced like, kick. interjected a lot of sound effects. <laughs> I'm liking it. Yeah. So... I mean, he's like Lollygagger, but like, you know, does it the old fashioned <laughs> way. <laughs> well, look, I don't know how. The much analog on... soundboard. I don't know how much you are on magic theory, but the way people have been dying, it hasn't been through suggestion, it's been through magic. So, someone with what? a lot of. It's someone with a lot of magic. That's the going magic theory can't be we have evil. So now. How did you figure that out? We've talked to a few, fair few people here of different disciplines. They've, they've all, but they're all hanging by noose. Yeah, and that's not how they died. That do that, kill people with magic. We gotta invent, you know. We gotta decide what the red herring of this universe is. What the word for it is? How did you figure that out? We talked to, we talked to people. Who? What is this talk, people? Uh, Aegis just like stares at him like the answer should be obvious. I'm hoping that I'm hoping uh, that he takes it the wrong way. Uh, wow. What? Did you, is is this? Wait. So you talk to people? Did you hear that? Is this why you think it's 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 instructor Veritas has something to do with it? Did he say something about that? He's just said a bunch of really suspicious stuff. Right now, like I've got nothing. Right now, I've got nothing solid, but that's what I'm looking for. And there's a bunch oh. of people protecting him. His little assistant hasn't done me any favors. I'm trying to go around to actually talk to the people in charge. Little yeah. assistant. Wait, you mean Marnix? Asked Marnix to try and arrange a meeting to try and get someone who can actually do something on the, you know, to talk to me. That hasn't happened. That's Asked interesting. Another guy. I share a dorm with Marnix. Think you could talk? Think you could talk to him? Well, that's just the thing. Uh, he, he is very odd. He he hasn't. He doesn't. He didn't. He wasn't at the dorm. It lights out. Apparently, he slept in the administration building. That's. Almost never happens, you know. You, you're, you're always supposed to sleep in the dorm. You know, Verit, Doctor Veritas is very clear on that protocol. All right, I'm adding that to my notes. Hmm. All right. Makes well, you think. I'm gonna. All right. So now, Aegis is gonna pivot. I'm not gonna try and prove murder. I'm gonna try and prove that Veritas is a pedophile. What? <laughs> I'm not actually going to do that. Okay. <laughs> He's a kid. That <laughs> go out and start going in front of the administration building and yell, Veritas diddles kids. That'll get the administration's <laughs> attention. Axios but Aegis this. just, Aegis nods that, makes a mental note while I make a real physical note of that. Alright. Um. What, just, just last night? Yeah. Okay. I am going to have to talk to Marnix about that and find out the reasons why, but if all if they've all happened in the dorms, if I don't see him, I'm going to keep an eye out for him. Tell him to come find me if you see him. Uh, Alright, just listen, don't go mouthing off about Instructor Veritas, please. He's respected. Yeah, and I don't see why. 
Well, you're not a student here, so you wouldn't. Suppose not. Well. So, did you ever... <laughs> was one of your... Sorry to ask, but was one of your friends one of the departed? Glenn. Glenn. The most... Glenn? Died this sorry. morning. Yeah, that's fresh. I'm sorry. I was going to say that... I was going to follow up and say that Veritas called them all weak-willed, but because it's that recent, I'm not going to go there. No, I'm going to leave. Aegis is going to back down will. on the line he was no, charging but down. Will. Ax will, he's coming, Wait, but charging do you, over. But do you know that? Cause... No, Ax is just going to call him weak. <laughs> oh, good. So you're not actually going to help my investigation. You're just going to... Oh, no, no, no. No, Ax is currently investigating something himself. His salad bowl. investigating <laughs> the yes. omelette bar. <laughs> yes, of course. You know, could be something in the food. Ax has to see. He has to eat to see if he has suicidal thoughts. Well, you're a brave man, X. You know, Aegis mm. did actually have an idea that was a long line similar to what Swede is saying, but I'm keeping that in my back pocket, but I doubt they'll allow it. It's like, okay, infuse me with some shit magic, see if I'm affected. But, bit risky. See, Azora was like, hey, you should talk to this kid. And she was just expecting, you know, like, hmm, Jethro, so do you have... And she's just, she's in for a, like, a lot has happened in the past two minutes. <laughs> Alright. It's go gonna be exciting. Okay. No, no, no. I won't go... No, I'm talking to the kid. This is in character. Yeah. Alright. So... How about this? I won't go around publicly bad mouthing Veritas, and you keep and you keep Stum that I mentioned him. That fair? That's fair. Good. I'd I hope like he to understands the saying "keep Stum," but yeah, he's like, I'd like to go. Uh, All right, just back. It's high. Look, everyone's a bit on edge right now, but don't go picking fights with him. He's probably just as on edge as you are. It's just oh, his way right. of handling it. Alright. Yeah, um, he, yeah, he walks off. Alright, so Azora and Jethro. You yeah. took Jethro, uh... You invited him to eat lunch with you outside? Yeah. Yes. Outside. So I could have, yeah. you know, section and mark to... Uh-huh. Excuse me? <laughs> what? Yes? No. Uh, I thought he was saying something else. Section him off? Okay, that's Sec why. Getting him sectioned Sec under the Mental Health Act. Right. I see. Wow. You thought she said sex with him, didn't you? No, Jesus of course Christ. not. <laughs> Zora takes right. him into a back alley and pulls out the DCMV. Is <laughs> <laughs> it a DSMV? I can't remember these things. DSM. All right. Alright, so, yeah, Jethro follows you outside and says, Where are we going to eat, then? Outside. Like I well, said. We're outside. Because, because you can't be in the cafeteria because Axe is eating everything. <laughs> so this Sablo guy, what's his problem? <sighs> He's, uh... Kind of a tool, I guess. What kind of a tool? So tool is a thing <sighs> that exists in this world. He can't seem... He's never been able to split... He's never been able to reconcile his ego with his... Uh, with his nationalistic fervor. He wants to achieve individual glory, but he also values his city, but he also values the school, and he's very confused. He seemed to have beef with you in particular. Any story there? He thinks I told Glenn to kill himself. <gasps> he thinks you told Glenn to kill himself. He thinks I told Glenn to kill himself. Shall I take it from your tone that you didn't tell Glenn to kill himself? 
I never and no. the source sort of flips back to their notebook to look at the entry on Glenn for a bit. Uh well you don't really have anything on Glenn. Oh true. <laughs> yeah. Never mind. True. Yeah, you never you never really heard anything about yeah. It says I did not tell Glenn to kill himself. Okay, Hopefully based I off your not... tone, what did you tell Glenn? Yeah, he looks at you and just says uh, I told Glenn that if he were as I told Glenn that if he were as important to his important to his noble house as he claimed to be, then they wouldn't have sent him here. I see. That's a very weird line of logic, but hey, we don't know them as well as you know Jeffra apparently does. Well, not too important like, to his line anymore. I, I don't like this character. Jeff, yeah. a bit too close to a certain Joffrey. What? Any yeah. case, while I have you, been investigating a few more leads, and I was hoping. Since you've already cooperated with investigation, I could ask you a couple more questions. You've got questions, I've got answers. Glad to hear it. Veritas, wanna give me a bit, you know, just tell me your impressions of the man, first of all. Well, he's certainly got a commanding presence. And from what he's spoken of his time in his home country, he's quite the warrior. You like him? I wouldn't go that far. I respect his acumen. Acumen. Yeah. Right. You love him. <clears throat> He's what? a oh, very oh. hard line. And that's something you appreciate. He was he's, he wasn't afraid to. So the structure we have here at this camp is completely different from the structure of courses at the school. Uh, this was completely of his design, and it, it worked wonders in his home country. And I respect that uh, he's taken such, you know, a stance with it, and that he's not willing to bend on it. Nice. You know anyone who would be particularly close to him, or good to ask questions pertaining to him? <clears throat> uh, close to him, ask questions about him. Yeah. Uh, there are people who I guess are somewhat who would know more about him, but I don't know if they'd be willing to answer the kind of questions you'd be, ask you'd be asking if it were an investigation tone. Oh? Well, you go on. You know, he inspires, I guess, loyalty, and a lot of the people close to him. If you were to ask about things that would be an invasion of his privacy or anything, anything that wouldn't already be public knowledge, I can't imagine they'd give it up. Who is they? Uh, well, there's Marnix, for one. Marnix? Yeah. He was handpicked to be uh, Veritas' student assistant after the last one uh, requested... Well, after the last one quit the school. Who were they? 
the last who quit. Uh, it was uh, relatively uh, someone who was one of the top students, top three, I believe, uh, was his, you know, dedicated student assistant for a while and uh, eventually just decided that wasn't working out for him. For him. So requested to uh, leave the school, which meant a volunt he voluntarily submitted to having his magic sealed and uh, his memories wiped. Have a name for him? Uh, <clears throat> this guy's name was... Guy's name was uh, Morvin. Morbid. Yeah, but... And top three student left the school. When was this? Uh, this would have been... About... Three months ago. Three months ago. Got it. Thank you. And so Marnix started about when he left? Uh, there was a... Sort of... There are applications to be Veritas's assistant, which... Application? So yeah. this was something a lot of people were interested in. A few people, yeah. It's... it's you, There are perks to it, uh, such as, you know, you get... Uh, if, if you're Veritas's instructor, you get to uh, spend more time in the administration building, which is kept a lot cleaner than all the other buildings. And... Uh, well, if you have favor with Veritas, then you'll probably have an easier time uh, in general. You know, he won't. He, he'll probably. You, you, you won't have. You you can you get you have a much freer schedule for your courses. Uh, of course, the trade off is that uh, Veritas is pretty, pretty expects pretty hard, expects the best of the people under him. So if you were to falter, you'd face some pretty serious consequences. There's a reason why Marnix always looks so nervous and afraid. I see. How about those two? Uh, they play music at night. They were also accompanying Veritas for the sealing ritual. What about them? Uh, the musicians? Sure. Uh, the people who played music are called Last I Check. Yeah. yeah. Uh, they're from... Uh, they used to... They're not instructors. You know, they don't run any courses or anything. Uh, they're here uh, mostly to... They're here mostly to make sure that the Mandela name is being respected, that rituals are being upheld, and uh, that the culture is being observed. And, of course, they play uh, the ritual, you know, they do the ritual performance at the end of every night, or right before uh, curfew. I see. So these are people from, like, Mandela Central, then? These are, like, you know... Yeah. Uh, I imagine they would be. And uh, these I've... have been here, and they've been doing this as long as you've been at the school? Yeah. Know their well, names? Uh... Yeah. Hold on, let me... Let me get the, uh... Hmm. Uh. 
Uh, their names are. Their names are Argon. That's the male, and Volsetta. That? That's the female. How do you spell both of those? Thank you. Yeah, they're the musicians. Uh, the, uh, uh, given their role, I'd assume they're from. The Mandela Island, but uh, who knows? You know, uh, they, they've never said. And they've been the musicians here as long as you've been here, those two specifically. Yeah. Okay. Um, now, where I can find them about now or in the next couple hours? They would either be. In administration, or uh, when they're not in administration, well, when they're not in administration, then they're uh, tuning uh, their instruments by storage, or they, or they're eating at the mess hall. They're. Um, Interest. I guess if I had to know anything about them, I, uh, well, you know, I was at the main school, main island, before being sent here to this camp. I never saw them around. So, were there other musicians there though who did the whole? Ceremony? There were, yeah, at, at the island, there were different people who did the music. Uh. Harp and drums is pretty unique to them. And most, uh, also, their singing is uh, they they sing in harmony, which usually at the island uh, the performances were usually uh, solo performances switched out, uh, cycled in uh, a different person each day for cycling through a week, cycling through weeks. All right. Well, thank you for the information. Yeah. Yeah, he uh, finishes his omelet. Mm -hmm. uh, and he looks at you and just says, Notice you didn't bring anything to eat with me. Azura sort of shrugs. Have trouble eating when I'm working. Right. Yeah, he stands up and just says, well, you're if, well. If uh, your uh, large friend is anything to go by, then you're probably free to take second helpings at the mess hall. Azora just sort of nods her head. Yeah. Stay well, out of trouble. Right. I'll go I'll run drills. Around to disengage you every time. He's lucky you did. The only reason he was on top of me is because I wasn't fighting back. And then he walks off uh, towards, you know, drilling. Mm -hmm. I really hope he doesn't die tonight, otherwise that's going to make Jeffro look really, really suspicious. Yeah, Mary. That's going to lead to problems. What if it is Jeffro? Well, yeah, if it's Jeffro, then a lot of what I've been saying really goes out the window. I yeah. kind of staked my claim on it has to be Veritas, and you know. Oh, I think it's Veritas too, but like, well, I think it's connected. To, I don't think he. I think there's a chance he's not like aware he's connected to it, but I think it's much more to do with him than it is to do with Jethro. Hmm. The problem is. In any case. Uh, yeah. The problem is we don't know yet, and we don't have any hard evidence. We just have words and superstitions. That's good enough to act on. Well, I could always kill Veritas and we could see if it stops happening. 
I mean, that's the same. That's like a more extreme version of him saying, "Have Jeffro just leave, and if they stop dying." Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yours has a lot more kind of problematic consequences associated with it. Well, you know, when has that ever stopped us? Very rarely. I'm if we kill case, Veritas, we should probably be smart about it. Like, I don't know. I mean, hide hey. on a rooftop and I'll just throw a javelin at the back of his head when he leaves a building. <laughs> <laughs> That's the plan, right? Just we'll just fucking JFK him with a javelin. <laughs> oh no, I feel like if we jump him, we could probably make pretty short work of him. But I, yeah, I'll yeah. Play. I think Ashabai would be a bit, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> like, he just rounds the corner as, like, you know, Aegis is holding him in, like, a full Nelson as Azor is just, like, rapid fire shanking him. <laughs> <laughs> Ashabai rounds the corner, what the fuck are you doing? Just turns investigating. His insides. This is what investigating looks like. I mean, if you're gonna hire mercenaries to do an investigation job... You knew you were getting thugs. You were in Thug City when you hired thug detectives. Yeah. I mean, yeah, look at us. But upon regrouping, Azora does say, Yeah, I want to talk to those two musicians. They were at the ceiling ceremony and they seem to, you know, be pretty tied to tradition and whatnot. And, Frankly, uh, if this is a magic thing, it would have to be applied pretty soon before they go to bed, as, according to the doctor, so. And I don't know. They I, play music. And Marnix hasn't been, wasn't sleeping in the dorms last night. He's been allowed to sleep in the administrative building, which is apparently not done. Or at least okay, so you're, you, so all three of you are regrouped at the... Uh, with Axe, then, at the mess. At the yeah, mess I believe hall. so, yeah. Okay, Alright, I uh, got yeah, Corrin. Oh, yeah, Corrin's at the table with Axe as well. Hello. Hello Axe Corrin. here. Well, Axe has done thorough research, and Axe can conclude food is not poisoned. Well, you won't know until you go to sleep tonight. I also hey. wanted... I also do want to take my own stab at talking to Veritas at some point, since you've somewhat soured that bridge... Yeah, you know, for yourself with talking to him. <sighs> I've talked to him less. He might, I might be a bit more. Might be a bit more willing to talk to me. I doubt it, but it's yeah, worth trying. I doubt it as well, but it's probably still better than me having another go at him. I do wonder how many more conversations we can have before he'll actually just yeah. try and kill me. And Azura sort of like thinks to herself a bit. I have an angle I want to try with him. Yeah, so do I, but gonna have to wait. Now, I have an idea. I look around. Are there any students about us? Uh, yeah, yeah, there are a few. It's sort of transitioning between breakfast and lunch right now. Okay, well. Wait, Aegis I'll leans in because he wants to keep this quiet from them. The problem is the idea I've got. We kind of need another dead student for it to pass. Though I hopefully. It, it's... Is Axe believing what Axe hears? Are you saying you want to kill someone? Azora does say, look, if I can find any if we can find any way to wrap this up today. No, I'd prefer that as well, yeah. but I think it but not optimistic, but hopefully with the angle I've got it means only one more dead student. Hopefully we can avoid that, but you know. Well what's your uh, idea? You, you probably know it better than I do. We know that we've got an angle we've figured out something we don't have to incriminate the doctor by pointing out the floor in the in the ceiling ritual. Veritas demands that it be done as soon as possible, but all the doctor told us was that isn't true. We ain't outing we ain't outing that he told us I that. Told you us got that. that you got that yeah. from the library. You learned that mm -hmm. in one of the books here. It has to be done on Mandela Island. Unlo the only reason Usually. it can't be done on Mandela Island is if transport there is impossible before the body is decaying. And the animals were shipped by boat, right? Yeah. Yeah. The boat's here. So that's no concern. Mm -hmm. Basically... Corin takes a bite of a piece of toast and just says, well, if you want to observe, if you want to take another crack at looking at how they die, there's only one way to observe that. You know I, what Axe gonna do Corrin? when he takes that piece of toast? Axe is like, uh, no, no, no. 
This could be poison. Max will take that. <laughs> what were you saying, Carl? Azor does... No. Uh, he said, well, there's only one way to observe <laughs> what's killing them. There's only... If you want to you know, take another shot at looking at what's killing them, there's only one way to observe that. Be present there? Yeah. To let... You'd have to let someone else die. Axe don't like that idea in the slightest. Axe just said, say, let's round up everybody, put them in one room, and we keep eye on them. That's what like, I suggested before... on the first day. Yeah. I was stopped by Veritas, who demanded that they stay by ritual. I was saying we should move everyone into a pavilion so no one could do it. He said no. Before it comes to any of that, I want to take, first of all, take a stab at these musicians and, you know, also take my own crack at Veritas. I'll come with. I'll come with you for the musicians, and well, I don't think it'd pre. I don't think I'd be very much help if I was there with Veritas. So the doors to the mess hall swing open. Uh, and uh, Axe, you might recognize. Uh, actually, Agus would too, I guess. It was or I didn't meet him. Uh, recognize uh the student walking in as Pierce, uh, the assistant to the Beastmaster, who just. Uh, he declares loudly to the whole mess hall. It's like, break out the bacon again. We got pigs back. Ooh. Wait. And, uh... Axe don't have bacon to break out. And, uh, he just sort of, you know, knocks on a table and, uh, you know, someone just kind of... And, uh, you know, people... You know, so, you know, some of the, you know, mess hall faculty actually, you know, do kind of like take out different trays that have uh, the reserves of bacon that, that, that they were in, that they weren't that they were ration that they were rationing out while the pigs were gone. Well, that's probably going to raise some people's spirits. Hopefully. Those are, maybe that's why people were. They were just sad about they weren't getting enough bacon and they were committing suicide. <laughs> Maybe that was the mystery all along. Hey, that is something hey, X can agree to. I yes? tried arguing that we should just move everyone into one room so they can't kill themselves. You want to take attack a trap? Uh, you want to take a go at that? Arguing that to Veritas X failed when I did X it, but you're a big guy. For you, Axius <laughs> cracks his knuckles. X can they try. So, uh, Pierce, uh, goes over to a table, uh, in, uh, nearby yours, uh, with the, with a few students. Uh, he sort of cockily takes a bite of his ba of the new, of the bacon, and just, uh, says, you, and, and, uh, starts in, in a sort of, you know, braggadocious tone, just says, you boy, guess who just got a ticket to sleep in administration tonight? Um, okay, I, all right, that perks it up because it is. Wait, you now you're allowed to sleep at And uh, yeah, yeah, the people at uh, the the table are kind of you know, you know they they congratulate him, but are also like complaining about the jealousy. Wait, Axe don't get it. Axe thought the teachers having sex with students was illegal. Wow. Wow. All right, sweet. You win the horniest player award. <laughs> oh no! Yeah, oh, for no. real. Like, <laughs> my boy's trying to accuse me. I mean, <laughs> hey, I I was the one who made the uh, the accusation about pedophilia earlier on. That was in a way of I'll get I'll get Veritas on something. <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, I guess that keeps a, keeps an ear on that. Is so. Wait, you can you can earn the privilege of sleeping in there for a night. Uh, he looks around uh, and sees you and says, "Oh, you again? Nice. I didn't see you after last night." Yeah, unfortunately, we're still here. The deaths are still Ax happening. Access question: Why you want to sleep? Oh in yeah, that was the commotion ad this morning, wasn't it? And he ad takes the bacon. Admin. So wait, you help the, so you, you help the beast master, and so you can sleep in the administration building. Uh yeah, it's a lot cleaner. Uh, don't um, bed the bed's nicer from what I understand. And you don't gotta share a room with five other 
five others. How how selfish of you? How do you mean? I don't know. Now, how can I earn the right to sleep in administration for a night? <laughs> oh, Axe doesn't care about that. You know, this place pro barely has a bed big enough for him. Um, I mean, you know, I'm more thinking about if I'm in there, I can do some investigating. Hmm. Oh. Maybe we should try and bribe this guy to get us into administration tonight. I feel I know, like... We... I would rather be in, you know, the main wing to try and observe, you know. I mean, maybe we could split up, but I feel like it's more important to, you know, try and observe. Well, the problem there is we tried that last time. Stop. We're locked out from yeah. every room anyway. We can't stop the deaths until they've happened because no one will let us fucking in. Well, we can try and improve that, hopefully, tonight. We can try. And the problem as well is, if the what the doctor said is right, and they're dying because of lack of magic, then us being there is, besides the fact we'd learn that's definitely the case, kind yeah. of immaterial. They're dead before they've hung themselves. Which is a weird way which... to put it, but... Yeah. But, you know, which, again, is like... Do want to try and wrap this up to, before that, like, want to try and solve this before that talk. Yeah, to... but may as well leave, put a line on that one. I don't know. I don't know if I can convince this kid to let us into there anyway. That's good. Oh yeah, you'd be the stealth agent going into administration. I mean, I don't think this kid can, like, get us permission to go oh, in. No, no, no he's, he's, we're not yeah. asking permission, we're asking us, well, I was going to ask him to sneak us in. Oh, Okay. Access question, uh, lucky boy. Can, may Axe see the administration room? May you? May Axe? Uh, you'd have to ask. Yes, Axe is asking you. I don't got the authority. Why? Because <laughs> I'm not, I'm not faculty, dude. Why? I'm uh, not old enough. Why? Uh, because you gotta graduate. Use this as a decision to take his ticket to <laughs> no, no, that that's dumb. Oh, so hmm. I Axe. Hmm. How could Axe get into this then? What? Administration. Such yes. Building? Yes. Uh, ask. You know, I start to wonder... For what, someone who goes to school, you don't give good answers. I mean, I don't know what else to tell you, dude. You just knock on the door and ask if you can go in. Then, then why you have to do tasks? What? All right, all right. Let's wrap this up. Let's wrap... Never mind. Access had heard enough. All right. So what now? All right. Well, I'll abandon that line of trying to get him to sneak us into the building. I'm gonna go try and find these two mu musicians. All right. I'll come with. Mm -hmm. You know, Axe doesn't want to be left alone again. Right, so Axe is going with you? Yes. Alright, oh, full party. Going to one place. There we go. Um, up, before we do up, this, up. have to use the bathroom. Oh, we're up. Up. You know, I'm gonna use this moment to get a drink. Okay. I'm gonna go to the bathroom as well.